Delicious bacon and nut brittle. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a medium sized saucepan and one and a half cups of white sugar. Add to that one half cup of water and then three quarters of a cup of light corn syrup. Now I was out of light corn syrup, so I used dark corn syrup instead, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. Then you're gonna stir this over medium high heat until it starts to boil. Stir continuously until you get a nice boil. Once it's boiling, you can stop stirring and you need to cook this until it reaches 260 degrees Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer. Once you get to that temperature, remove it from the heat and you're gonna add one and a half cups of mixed cocktail nuts or just peanuts, one half cup of butter and a teaspoon of salt. Stir that around until the butter melts and the mixture comes back up to boil and continue to cook until it reaches 285 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, you're gonna take it off the heat again and you're gonna add in your crumbled bacon. I added in about six or seven strips of cooked and crumbled bacon. And then you're also going to add in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And when you stir this in, the baking soda is going to cause it to foam up a little bit and it'll also lighten the color. Now, of course, if you don't want to use bacon in this, you don't have to put the bacon in. It's just a very interesting and unusual addition that gives it some really interesting flavors. Put it back on the stove and just stir it a little bit just to bring that foaming action down and to darken the color up a little bit about one or two minutes. Once that happens, spread it out onto a cookie sheet covered with a silicone mat or a cookie sheet that's been covered with aluminum foil and well greased with butter or cooking spray. This stuff is really sticky. Spread it out, allow it to cool completely, and then just break it up into pieces to serve it. And there it is, bacon peanut brittle. This is delicious. The bacon adds a nice, savory, salty flavor to it. It's kind of unusual and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you wanna turn this into a Father's Day present, then all you have to do is print out these fun little labels that I found online and I will provide a link in the description box and on your screen to the website where you can find these and print them out yourselves. And it makes a fun little homemade gift for dad on Father's Day if you wanna give that a try. Now, a few of you mentioned my pretty little heart-shaped measuring spoons in my last video, and I wanted to show you them close up. These were purchased at a kitchen store that was in a Flea Masters flea market in Fort Myers, Florida, United States. I was there this winter during the March break to visit my mom and dad, who spend every winter there. And they're so cute, I couldn't help but buy them. And I also have a cupcake set that you may not have seen, and those were gifts from another YouTuber. I enjoy candy making. As you can see, I have a candy making playlist that has some great candies like homemade lollipops, homemade gumdrops, and lots of different kinds of fudge. If you want to see this, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the about section below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.